we have come to the Taunus, a low mountain range near Frankfurt am Main. Some of the region's many mineral springs were used by the Romans almost 2,000 years ago, and one of them became world famous, Zelters. The earliest surviving document mentioning it from 772 AD calls it Saltrissa. Today, Niederzelters is a small town with 3,000 residents. The settlement developed where an early medieval trade route crosses the Emsbach River. The town hall is in the middle of the town. How does an early neoclassical building turn up in the small town of Niederzelters? Well, it used to be an army barracks. A barracks was erected here so the soldiers could protect the well. Because the well was the lifeline and source of money for Niederzelters and whoever ruled it. In the 18th century, more than a million jugs of water were bottled here each year and shipped all over the world. The label bore the town's name, Zelters, and so the water became known everywhere as Zelters water. Mayor Norbert Zabel has delved deeply into local history and the success story of Zelters water in bygone eras. There are two reasons for its success. First, the scientific reputation, and second, the astronomic sales figures. And that made Zelters a trademark for more than two centuries. It's still effective today, because the term Zelters water is passed down from generation to generation. Production in Niederzelters ceased in 1999. The historic Well Temple was renovated. A museum informs visitors about the history of the famous water, which in the 18th century was regarded as a luxury item. It is known that Germany's most famous poet, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, was an outstanding connoisseur of wine. But what we also know from the literature is that he often drank Zelter's water with his wine. And that he explicitly asked tavern keepers, do you have Zelter's water here? It's proven. For a small fee, visitors can fill containers themselves. We have three different kinds of water here. The first faucet provides untreated water. The second, treated water with a little carbon dioxide. And the third has treated water with more carbon dioxide. About 70 kilometers away in Zelters on der Lahn, there's a modern bottling plant. Mineral water labeled Zelters has been produced here since 1896. We have 10 springs of varying depths. The deepest spring is up to 350 meters deep. That's also our oldest spring, the Augusta Victoria Spring, which our well is named after. The water travels all the way from the Vosges region in France, where it has been underground for 8 to 12,000 years before ending up in the blue bottles. Most Zelters is sold to restaurants and hotels. The company advertises its high quality standards. It used to fill ceramic jugs by hand. The origin of Zeltas, as we bottled and shipped it all over the world, you can see here on this old ceramic jug. The clay is from Kannenbeckenland, not far from the spring. The design of the bottle is adapted from that form. And then we decided that the color, turquoise, fits pure water best, and so that's what we use. The relief means that Zelters has to flow through deep stone strata to reach this spring, thereby being enriched with minerals. And that's the origin of the bottle. Zelters water, a centuries-old product that has become a regional success story.